Today I want to talk about uh, the driver error, the one where uh, Ross Lynch and his well, brother. Uh, created uh, the band and uh, from December 21st 2020 which would be at least about two months ago by the time this video goes up hopefully when you see this um, this is what they tweeted miss you guys and the letter says here in part, as you all probably know already, a U.S. winter tour that was planned to start in late January is not going to be able to take place due to the pandemic and the fact that venues are not ready to open yet. We are actually working on rescheduling this tour and hope to have a new date sorted in January. We can't wait to get back on the road and play for all for you all live. It's going to be very special to reconnect with everyone. Stay safe. Love the driver era. And that did cause some backlash. One person tweeted, please just cancel and refund us. Everyone is struggling financially in the pandemic and would help so many people. This person tweeted, Can you guys not do virtual tour? This person, Diana, agreed. Yes, do the virtual tour, please. The crying emoji. This person tweeted, Don't you guys think about a little virtual concert? Alicia agreed. Yes, please. This person tweeted, can you guys try to organize a virtual show? It would be an amazing thing to do while we wait for a tour. We miss you. This person tweeted, um, MGG, yes. Alex tweeted, cancel the tour. We need money and also stop traveling and hanging out with more than five people. No, I don't care that it's family. So that we can actually start to heal as a country. This, I haven't seen my grandfather since this whole thing started. I don't want them to get it. I don't understand this family and hanging the friends as well, not worth the risk. Oh, so, oh now you care about the pandemic? You and your family have been visiting tons of people, traveling to Hawaii, and ignoring social distancing rules. Be on the pants. They need the money more than you do. Wow. Ouch. Well, they already said that... That the planned tour that was going to take place in late January is not going to be able to take place due to the pandemic. They originally posted that the tour was going to be in four weeks, and then fans were excited. But two weeks later, back in March 2020, they posted this update here. It says, hey guys, unfortunately we are postponing our world tour due to the coronavirus outbreak we are expanded but we will be in touch soon with rescheduled tour dates for later this summer we love you ross and rocky as you can see here fans were bummed about it
all of them more bombs that the tour couldn't happen this year but they did update just about five months later I think obviously the driver era Twitter account posted new US tour dates which is for 2021. They posted this on July 2020, five months later. It says new US tour dates for 2021. Tickets previously purchased will be honored at the new dates. If you cannot attend the new show date, please reach out to your point of purchase. Hope to see you all next year, which has all these dates from January January 25th. That'll be this year, but it couldn't happen because of COVID. January 26th, couldn't happen because of COVID. January 28th, that's this year, couldn't happen because of COVID. January 29th, COVID. January 30th, COVID. January 31st, COVID. February 2nd, COVID. February 4th, COVID, obviously. Because we are now in the month of February, the tour dates probably couldn't ha- even happen. But in July 2nd, 2020, fans were kind of excited to actually go. But that was until things changed again. Fast forward to December of the last year is where you see this tweet that they already, that I already read, that they were probably not going to have a tour over there. About 31 days later, they re- they rescheduled the U.S. dates, featuring We Are The Rex. Previously purchased tickets will be valid for the new dates. If you have a ticket and are unable to attend the new dates, please reach out to your point of purchase. Hope to see you all later this year, which has the dates from late 2021. This is the opposing date for for this year's tour, which will happen first in Minneapolis, Chicago, Cleveland, Detroit, Columbus, Boston, Ashbury Park, New York, Philadelphia, Baltimore, Norfolk, Columbia, Nashville, Atlanta, Orlando, Fort Lauderdale, Houston, Dallas, Kansas City, City, Denver, Seattle, Portland, San Francisco, Los Angeles, and Los Angeles. So those are the official tour dates for this year. And that's when uh, COVID might probably cease to exist by then. So hopefully the driver air will have their world tour in the coming months ahead of this time. I mean, some people are really happy and some of them not so much, I guess, because Jeremiah tweeted, bro, y'all should have canceled it. I mean, no, I don't agree with that. They don't need to cancel the tour. This person probably would agree with me. She says, no, they shouldn't have. Shut the fuck up, Jeremiah. Jeremiah replied, lots of their fans have been asking for cancellations. I'll come back to this tweet when they eventually cancel it. On to the center. Inside aren't going to be coming back this year, most likely. If they want it to be canceled. They can get their tickets refunded. No one can tell the future, and it's not safe. They can postpone it again. They aren't the only band that didn't cancel their tour. 
I'm saying everyone should have returned money to their fans in the first place because exactly no one can predict the future and fans most likely need the money. In my opinion, the right thing for artists to do is to just cancel their tours and not plan until they know exactly what's going on. Money can be placed to literally any fan that wants back make it make sense. Some fans can't get a refund. Why wouldn't they be able to? Maybe they couldn't earlier on into the pandemic, but COVID refunded policies for concerts could get a lot easier to navigate as a band.